Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Sunday, April 21st, 2024, the fourth Sunday of Easter. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John chapter 10, verses 11 through 18. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down, and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Who is the Good Shepherd? I read a story about a newly ordained priest who asked a group of children who they believed the sheep were in the story. The children responded, Us! And when asked who the shepherd was, they answered, Jesus! The young priest was so impressed that he asked, And who would that make me? After some deliberation, a young boy raised his hand and said, The sheepdog, I guess. This reminds us that our expectations or vision of ourselves may not always align with how others or even God sees us. Just like the sheep, we have to listen attentively to the voice of the shepherd through prayer and the sacraments, seeking to fulfill his expectation for our lives rather than our own or those of others. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us, I know mine, and mine know me. This reminds us of the importance of developing a personal relationship with Jesus. While God provides us with support through friends and family, and he entrusts priests with the role of being our shepherds, he also wants to have a personal relationship with us in the depths of our hearts. St. Augustine commented on this when he said, I searched for you outside myself, while all along you were within me. The search for God is a journey of the heart, an interior quest that leads us to a profound encounter with Him. If we make a consistent effort to reach out to God through an earnest prayer, we can be certain of His constant companionship. Lastly, as we journey through life, we all make choices, like who are the types of people that we choose to call friends? How do we cope when a member of our family becomes ill? How to turn away from vices or addictions that we might develop over time, and of course, we accept the consequences that come from all of that. In life, we're bombarded with these options, and it can be overwhelming, and so we have to know who to seek advice from. While priests, spiritual guides, and good friends are there to offer support, ultimately, we are responsible for discerning the advice that we receive and making choices. Having a relationship with Jesus, our Good Shepherd, will ensure that we have someone in whom we can place all our confidence and trust in, especially when the decisions we face are difficult. As we talk with Christ, let's acknowledge that He knows us intimately and loves us deeply. 
Let's seek His grace and rely on Him. May God grant us the wisdom and spiritual discernment needed to discover the path that He desires for us and give us the courage to follow Him, knowing that He is all good and desires only our true happiness. And so today, let's pray seeking God's guidance and trust in His loving care, knowing that He walks with us on life's journey every single day. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.